Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val through the three tarot. And we're just gonna jump in and see what's going on here with um, who you're dealing with, what are the true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you, all right? Now, keep in mind Taurus that this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and the North Node. So of course, it's not gonna resonate with all of you. It's a general reading. But for more readings after this, uh, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And uh, I do offer same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like here in regards to, ooh, with who you're dealing with. Um, so they start out extremely burdened and stressed out and freaking out about you, but still hanging on to all of it, this, all of it with you here. They feel burdened by you, unfortunately. Uh, at the same time, though, it's like you make them happy, okay? Or either it makes them happy to hang on to these burdens, either or, I don't know. But it's like either or, you know, it's like still, they still feel happy with you, right? But at the same time, you know, they emotionally just completely have disconnected from you. And unfortunately, because of that, now they might be picking fights with you, arguing with you, you know, competing, battling with you, getting aggressive with you um, in some way, shape or form where they're, they're fighting themselves. But at the same time, it looks like you're, that's where they end up wanting to just kind of be, you know, more peaceful in a sense because they understand the perspective of what they're putting themselves through here with you. And that's where they become a bit more nurturing and loving, you know, and kind, friendly, you know, whatever this is here with you. And that's where there's, you know, a choice they need to make that they might be confused about here and they end up kind of just waiting, trying to figure out what to do here, but still waiting and planning here with you and towards you. Okay, so for some of you, this is someone that's a really good friend of yours, you're close to, or you know, um, you work with, you know, coworker, collaborator. They have fun with you, they like you, or they have a crush on you, or there's something there possibly with the both of you. I don't know. Okay, because um, I really do see that here. So it looks like here that. Yeah, they're kind of like waiting on you in a sense or for you or towards you to plan more. But that's where, like I said, they're having a lot of fun here with you and towards you. Or they want to approach you, you know, or tell you how they feel about you. 
um, either or, or they already have or whatever it may be here, they're just friendly, right? They spend time with you, but that's where they're willing to kind of invest with you, make money, become more abundant here, okay? And have a good time. And that's where, you know, they're very independent and focused with themselves too. And they do well for themselves and they're hardworking. And this is where like, there's something there that gets pretty much revealed, but it, it, you know, in a way where it, it works with it because there's a lot of progression going on here, okay? Like something, you know, ha it happens to the point where it gets, to the, where it gets, you know, them to feel like things are speeding up here between them and you. And, you know, this is where this person either commits here with you or towards you in some way, shape or form, or they are, they've already, maybe this is, you know, they've been in, this is someone in a marriage or relationship here with you. Or like I said, this is more so like, fr I, I kind of get like friend, someone you work with or collaborate with, or possibly they want to, I don't know, either or, but, um, You know, they could be basically, because there's something here about the, the whole progression and wanting things to speed up here with you and towards you. That's where they already know deep down what to do or what to say or what's going on about the situation with them and you. So this is where, like I said, you, you, you know, they choose to basically commit to whatever kind of path that they may have they're on here or, you know, with you or with themselves, any kind of journey, a spiritual path or journey here. Um, you know, or they could be going to people of guidance to figure out what it is that they need to do here with you and towards you. That's where they face something here realistic of what's going on. They have to make a choice about them and you, and it is to work with you, collaborate with you in some way, shape or form, or, you know what I mean? Something about working in a sense. And that's where right after that, there's unfortunately irritation, aggression, or like them attacking you or like them being mad at you or them just kind of being maybe irritated and confused and frustrated. So either or here. Then maybe quickly having to say something or do something. I don't know. It could just be quick communication too for some of you here with how they feel, you know, like what they're, you know, what's going on here in the situation, either or. That's where, once again, they're kind of just showing a lot of wealth and money and abundance here that they have with themselves or that they have with you or want with you, either or. But this is where they feel very fulfilled and happy and grateful, like they're getting everything they want here with you and towards you. So for some of you, I do get the sense that it kind of flipped, like the storyline in a sense. Like this, I, I, I do get the sense at first this was about someone here that you are close or friends with, you know what I mean, or working with, or maybe someone that's trying to pursue you romantically. And then it kind of flipped to more so those of you who are in a committed um, marriage or relationship with the person and unfortunately that person took fo took over and so it's kind of like it gets a little bit you know harsh and choppy in that sense but so you know it kind of it kind of split in that sense here unless you were towards you were asking about two different people if, if that's the case I do see that and one person is basically I really feel like one person here has a crush on you and wants to be here with you be in a committed relationship with you and unfortunately the person that you're in a marriage or relationship with is obviously like in their perspective in the way but they're waiting being focused but they work with you and collaborate with you and they have fun with you there um and then who you're in a marriage relationship with kind of took over and it's like there's a lot going on here because then it shows like they you know whoever this is they love you know the, they're in the marriage relationship here with you for security for money they're getting they're fulfilled they're getting what they want here with you and towards you and then after that they kind of go cold but then they have an idea here with you and towards you which is unfortunately maybe an argument or there's more frustrating things and battles going on with this person with you and towards you then they choose to just kind of you know unless they're irritated with themselves or you guys did argue whatever it is or they're trying to start something or bully you that's when they um, choose to move on move forward with you have some passion with you do something there and that's when they have a very harsh painful awakening after they're intimate and or passionate with you in any way shape or form and you know not in a good way either unfortunately they have a realization uh you know not not in a good way unfortunately so i do get two storylines okay but you could be dealing with a, um aries leo sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio that's about it thank you bye